Good morning. May the 22nd. Lovely Wednesday morning. Uh, as usual, we're here with two items on the agenda. One is the Daily Safety Plan, which you're seeing on the screen right now. And the other are the genealogical events being commemorated today by the various imperial, royal, noble, and aristocratic families of the world. The Daily Search Prime here is nothing more than a glorified hashtag. I came up with it to keep from answering the questions people were always asking about. Have you posted this and that about whatever it is that they happen to be interested in? So I devised this way of letting anybody find what I published on any given day, on any given subject that is publicly posted anywhere on the World Wide Web or the Internet. It is a precisely formatted hashtag. As you see, it starts with the hashtag sign, my three initials, ADH, and then a six-digit number, that number being composed of three sets of two-digit numbers. The first two are for the month of the year. The second two are for the day in the month. The third two are for the year in which I published whatever it is that you're researching, if anything. So... Hashtag eighty eight O five twenty two twenty four. Since I wasn't around in nineteen twenty four to publish, and I probably won't be around in twenty one twenty four to publish either. Combine this with any other search terms you want, it will pull up since Google indexes almost anything in a public place that published. Uh, You'll see what I wrote on any particular day. Now, I've used this hashtag or daily search parameter since January of this year. I've used it occasionally, maybe even more than occasionally previously, but never on a daily basis. I'm making sure now everything I publish, I, I attach this daily search parameter or hashtag to. Of course, second, second thing on the... Uh, agenda is the commemorative events. If you look below this video, you'll see a list of those events. If you highlight that list, I put your cursor over the highlighted portion, you'll right click, it will be read back to you. And you can learn the correct pronunciation of all the various foreign titles, and names, and so forth and so on. And that about covers the daily search for answer. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have about um, genealogy, technology, anything else. You can leave it as a comment on the community tab or under one of the videos here. But there are certain things you should know. One is that anything you post here on my channel will be held in moderation until I see it and approve it to be seen by the public. We're having a bit of a spam problem. That's the way I'm controlling it. The second thing is, there is a caveat to that I'll answer anything. That is, if you're asking anything about a Google policy, product, or procedure, that is not mentioned in a video on this channel. Those questions I will not answer here. I want you to go over to Google product form and ask them over there. And I do that for two reasons. One, it keeps all my Google stuff about Google products over there unless I specifically do a video about it. If I mention Gmail in the video, you will do so and so. You're free to want to know the details of doing that so-and-so. But don't, if I say it will print out backwards, don't ask if it will print duplex. Because if I don't mention it, don't ask a question about it. 
that type of question should be asked over in pilot form. Second reason is because it will get you a quicker answer over there than you will posting here. I'm here once a day for about an hour while I do this and answer what few comments I get over here. I spend anywhere from 12 to 13 hours a day over in the product forms, along with about 2,000 other product experts. Now, you won't get to talk to anybody. Google does not support live tech support for their consumer-level products, free products. But you go into the product form, type your question, somebody will come along. It may be an hour, it may be a week, it may be a year. Now, if you go over there and post and then come back here and post somewhere and say, Andy, I posted over there, and here is the link and provide a link that I can click go straight to your posting, I'd be happy to go over and look at it, give you an answer. If you don't have it, maybe add something if you do, because I badged it in several of the communities. Uh, and that's about it, really. I... Uh, I like to get these done so I can get them out by 5 a.m. in the morning so that they are in your box ready for you when you get up. So with that, I'm going to thank you for your past support. I hope to see you in the future. And have a great Wednesday. We'll talk to you later.